Well, good morning, everyone. This is truly the day the Lord has made. And of course, we are rejoicing and glad in it. Praise God. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another great day of worship, another great day of praise, and another day, great day of seeing God do some great things in your life today. Praise God. This is the day the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing and glad in it. Praise God. So welcome this morning. Praise God. So we see already Pastor Kevin is on. Praise God. Uh, Montoya, God bless you this morning. Uh, Virginia, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, all of you as you're coming on. Jesus Christ has got his hands on your life on this day, praise God. And I'm excited about what he's doing and, uh, and what he's doing in your life. Well, let's start this morning with a good word of prayer, praise God. Let's start this morning. Father, we honor you this morning, and we just give you thanks and praise and glory and honor for your goodness and your love. We thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit, Father whom you have given unto us, that he is our guide and teacher, Father. We pray also that spiritual wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and skill is granted to us, which enables and equips us with supernatural power and anointing to minister your word effectively as we ought, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you, God. We ask today that our eyes, the eyes of understanding are open, that we would know the hope of your calling in a greater way, the seed and greatness of your power that is to us as believers, God, we ask this day that we would be filled with spiritual wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the perfect will of God, Father, for your glory. And God, we ask you today, God, to anoint every ear to hear, every eye to see, and every heart to believe and receive the things of the Spirit of God. Father, we give you the glory for all things that are being done. And we declare, Father, this morning that you are who you say you are. You have what you say you are. And you can do and do, and you do what you say you can do. We give you thanks for it, Father. In the precious and mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Everybody say it. Amen and amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Well, let's say this together. Say, I am who God says I am. I have what God says I have. I can do what God says I can do, whether I'm presently experiencing it or not. Because God is good. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Well, welcome, 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 everybody, to, again, this great day of the Lord. Praise God. Vinique, God bless you today. Praise God. As each of you are coming on. Teresa, I see you. God bless you, daughter. Welcome, welcome, welcome to you for uh, being faithful to the things of God all these years. And it's just a blessing being with each of you on a daily basis. Praise God. As we see God do some great things. Well, today we're going to be talking about this, that we are delivered. Praise God. We are delivered. Amen. I don't care what you're going through in your life today. You need to know that you are delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. You are. Amen. And this is important. I'm, I'm going to share a little bit different in that uh, uh, part of that today because it may really help you out as far as, you know, the, the, the spirit of God, what he's saying into your heart as far as deliverance in Jesus name. Now, I want you to notice with me, first of all, in the book of um, in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 10, bring my music down just a little bit here, uh, in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 10, and uh, chapter number 1, I'm, or rather, 2 Corinthians, I'm, I'm, I apologize, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10, and I want you to see something here. This is a scripture that will be very important. It says, he has delivered us from such a deadly peril, and he will deliver us again, this is the NIV Bible, and he will deliver us again. On him, we have set our hope that he will continue to deliver us. Isn't that amazing? Now, that's the point that, that we're going to look at that today because it, he, Paul deals with three different tenses there. Number one, he says, he has delivered us. Number two, he will deliver us again. And then number three, he will continue to to deliver us. That's past, present, and future. That means that everything that you went through in your past, is <laughs> God, God said he delivered you from it in Jesus' name. Whatever you're going through right now, he gonna, he's dealing with that right now. He will deliver you again, just like he delivered you before. And then he says that he will continue to deliver us. That means whatever you face in your future, you can be confident 
that God would deliver you again in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. So let's thank God for the Father. We just thank you for, for, for full deliverance, God. That you have given us a full deliverance package. You delivered us from all the things that we went through in our lives. You are presently delivering us from anything that we're dealing with right now today, Father. And yet also you will continue to deliver us anything that we face in our future, Father. We give you thanks that you are the great deliverer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And then the next scripture I want to show you here is in the book of Colossians, chapter number one, uh, verse number 12 and 13. Uh, it says, giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us meet or partakers to be of the inheritance. Uh, this Colossians chapter 1, verse 12. Uh, <laughs> yes, Colossians 1, 12. So giving thanks to the Father, which has made us meet or able to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints. Verse 13, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of God's dear son. Once again, you can see that Paul is dealing with the fact that we have been delivered. It says that in verse 13, who hath delivered us. Notice he didn't say who is going to deliver us. You need to see that everything that you, your past, as far as Adam's sin, Adam's transgression, all the things, like sickness, disease, poverty, all that kind of stuff, you have been delivered from all that. And he said, not only have he delivered you, but he translated you into the kingdom of his dear son. And that's important, isn't it? And that I look at that word delivered. That word delivered actually means to draw to oneself for oneself. To draw to oneself for oneself. So what God is saying is that he delivered us from the power of darkness, but he also translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. He, you know, he delivered us from, are you following me? He drawed us to, for himself. Glory to God, another blessing. So let's, Father, we just thank you, God, that we have been rescued. We've been delivered, Lord, uh, from the power of darkness, to you and for you this morning and we give you thanks for it in the name of jesus christ for your full deliverance power in jesus name amen and amen praise god how about see this is this is what we practice every morning is joshua 1 7 and 8 are you following so we're not just praying the problems we're praying the solutions we're, we're med we, we go into the word and we're finding what the word says and we're meditating on that and we're declaring that as who we are. So this may not be the normal kind of prayer that people be having their prayer time. Nothing more than what they're doing, so I'm putting that down. But what the Lord led me to do was a Joshua 1 8 morning. <laughs> Amen. That God said, if you'll, you know, uh, 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 this, you know, if you'll keep my word in your mouth and meditate on it day and night, you will make your way to a good success. So this, so this is our time of prayer that we're doing. We're doing Joshua 1 8 prayers every morning. Amen. But notice here with me. In the book of Psalm chapter 54 and verse number 7. Psalm 54 and verse number 7. Look what it says there. For he hath delivered me out of all trouble, and my eyes have seen his desire upon my enemies. Isn't it a blessing? So God, so David is saying, no matter what I he's, he's reminiscing that no matter what I've gone through in my life, when I look back, he delivered me out of all of my troubles. And I, and I saw the desire, my desire upon my enemies. You need to know that. That don't care what kind of trouble you're going through in your life, spiritually, physically, or financially, God has already delivered you from him in Jesus' name. And you got to be confident that he delivered you, is delivering you. So in, in Jesus' name. And, and, and I like that word in the, in the Old Testament. The definition of this word in the Old Testament means to snatch away, to recover, to rescue, and to take out. Isn't that a blessing? To snatch away to recover, to rescue, and to take out. So what he's saying, David is saying here, is that God snatched me out of the trouble. I mean, you was going through, he reached his hand, snatched you out of it, amen. Because see, the trouble gonna be in the world. Are you following? But we're not of the world. So what God has done, when all the sickness is going on, all the coronavirus is going on, all the joblessness and the poverty going on, God said, I'm snatching you out of that thing, and I'm recovering you, and I'm rescuing you, and I'm taking you out of that. Amen. And, and, uh, and so you need to see it. That's what it means to be delivered in Jesus' name. So let's say this, Father. So Father, I thank you 
that what a situation I'm in right now, that you are snatching me out this day, you're recovering me, you're rescuing me, and taking me out. So I declare, in the name of Jesus, by faith, I am snatched out of all trouble. I am recovered, I am rescued, and I'm taken out in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God. How about Psalms 30, 34 and verse 17? Psalms 34 and verse 17. Oh, no, no, I, I missed one, didn't I? I, I, I Psalms 34, yeah, Psalm 34, 17, that's what I want to go. Psalm 34, 17. Look what it says there. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. He said, man, you get God's attention. When you cry to the Lord, he said, the righteous, when the righteous cry, amen, he said, the Lord hears you and he delivers you out of how much troubles, all the troubles. And you know, sometimes you're going through things, it doesn't look like you're going to be delivered, <laughs> amen, but you can be confident that God is your deliverer in Jesus' name. How about Psalms 34 and verse number four, Psalm 34 and verse number four, this is what David said. He said, I sought the Lord. And he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Isn't that a blessing? And then Psalm chapter 34 and verse 19. Look, well, I like this. This is what we used to, we quoted all the time years ago. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivers us out of them all. Glory to God. Isn't that a blessing? So we need to see that as we meditate on the word of God today, no matter what you're going through, that your deliverance from trouble is only a cry away. <laughs> Amen. It's only you seeking God away. He says here, because many may be the fish of the righteous. So when you're walking in this world, you and I are like salmon fish. We're going the opposite direction. So, that, so, that, so we may go through some affliction, some critic, which is not single to disease, but criticism, persecution, haters. Amen. He said, but out of everything that you're going through in your life, be confident today, the Lord delivers you out of them all. So I want you to give me come deliverance conscious today that there's nothing I'm going through in the, right now today that I that God has not already purposed a way to get me out of it. And we're decreeing today in Jesus' name, I, I parted to begin to confess, I am delivered from all trouble. Say that with me. Say, I am delivered from all trouble. All persecution, all criticism, all haters, I am delivered in Jesus' name. Praise God. Because when you, cause like I said, every day when you go through things, there's, all, there's so much stuff that we go through every day. But thank God for our deliverance in Jesus' name. Look at what Paul said in the book of 2 Timothy chapter number 3 and verse number 11. 2 Timothy 3 and 11 says this. He said, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of all them, the Lord delivered me. Isn't that blessed? Praise God, out of all them. He says, so I've been persecuted. See, some sense God, sometimes we get discouraged, and we, the potential to get discouraged is there when they go through afflictions and persecutions. But Paul says, look, I endured them. Why? Because out of all of them, the Lord delivered me. <laughs> Amen. That beautiful. And you need to recognize that as we go through this life, that what are you going through today? Persecutions, criticism, haters. You're going to see that God says out of all of them and look like people have snatched you up. And man, I'll tell you, the devil has hated on me and people have hated on me, but I, I can say like, like, just like uh, uh, Paul saying here, but out of all of them, the Lord delivered me. And you can say the same thing today. Go, he is your and my deliverer and then notice here uh, because sometimes like I said, you're going through things and and just get these scriptures meditated in your spirit because let's set this in our heart today let this be your thermos of the day that i am delivered out of everything because sometimes what you're going through right now you need to know that you know that not only did god deliver you when you got saved not only is he delivering you out of what you're going through but also anything you're going through in your life are you following in the future God has already made a way for you to be fully delivered from that thing. Notice what Paul said here in the book of 2 Timothy, 
chapter number four and verse 18. And I guess Paul must have went through quite a bit of uh, uh, things in his life also, praise God. Look at what Paul says there. He says, the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to be glory to, to be glory forever and ever. Isn't that a blessing? And, uh, and, uh, and so I like what he says here, and the Lord shall. Remember I said the future? We talked about the past. So the present, but he says now, no matter what I'm going to be going through, he said, I'm now confident the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work. You need to be confident in the same thing. Because sometimes that, 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 that's what causes fear. Because we're afraid of the outcome, the negative outcome. If I really obey God, if I really move forth in this business, if I really move forth in this ministry, if I really move forth in what God has called me to do, you know, this evil and all the stuff I got to deal with. But you got to be confident in your in your heart. Like Paul said, and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. So, Father, I give you thanks this morning that, Lord, we are delivered from every evil work of the enemy, Father. And even when people have tried to put us down, people have left us, people have criticized us. Lord, we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would you deliver us from every evil work in the name of Jesus, every assignment of the devil, every demonic spirit, Father, every human spirit, Father, that would try to come against us today. We thank you that you are our mighty deliverer, Father. And even when we've made certain mistakes, Father, in our lives, we thank you that that is still not the end, Father, because we rise back up again because you are our deliverer. No matter what we go through, what we're going through, Father, you are our I deliver. So I declare deliverance on your people today, Father. I declare them delivered from uh, from sickness and disease. I declare them delivered from poverty, lack, and insufficiency. I declare them them delivered from weakness in in their in their, in, their, in their spiritual life, Father. And I declare that, Father, we are delivered from weakness, inefficiency, poverty, lack. And we are, we are in the kingdom of your dear son, Father. We are in the kingdom. You have drawn us from those things to yourself, for yourself, Father. So we thank you that, that because of that, Father, we can declare that we, are, we, that we live in your kingdom. We live in kingdom privileges, Father. And we, and we live in the full rights and privileges that, that you have paid for us through your precious son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give you thanks for it, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. That's right. Praise God. That's right. You are delivered from it all in Jesus name. Amen. But look what, look what Job said. Even Job, people try to say, oh, I'm like Job. But let's see what Job said there. Because Job even understood deliverance. Job took the five verse number 19. Look what he says here. Job said, he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. Isn't that a blessing? Job had a great confession. Because it was evil all around Job. Satan was attacking Job on every way. Amen. And yet Job made a, uh, made a confession in the midst of what he was going through in his life. He said, he shall deliver me in six troubles. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. Isn't that a blessing? And I declare it over your life right now. That, that You said, Lord, but I miss it. But Job said, in six troubles, he'll deliver you. He said, but also in seven, he said, God's going to see to it that no evil touch you. So that means that all through Job's trial, even though his physical body was being attacked, the evil was not able to touch him. And therefore, because he did not allow the evil to touch him, God delivered him, praise God, and gave him twice as much as he had before. So, Father, I give you thanks today, God. No matter what we're going through in our lives, we can be confident, God, that no evil touches us, Father. And we thank you, Father, that, that things may touch us in the physical realm, God. But we thank you just as you delivered Job. You deliver us out of every situation in our lives because you are the faithful God. You are the covenant-keeping God. So we declare our deliverance spiritually. We declare our deliverance physically. We declare our deliverance financially. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. But I want to take you to a scripture here that sometimes we go through. And uh, this is about Jonah. <laughs> amen. And Jonah, we were the Jonah in the well. But Jonah made a mistake. 
and, and, and didn't obey God. But he went to God in the middle of that. And God turned situations around. And Job still walked in a full level of deliverance. In his, I mean, Job, Jonah rather, walked in full deliverance in his life. Let's look at Jonah chapter number two. Let's look at, let's just read Jonah for a moment. And let's see Jonah's story. Here it says, in the midst of that well, it says that Jonah prayed unto the Lord, uh, unto the Lord God out of the fish's belly. That means he, he, right in the middle of the situation, he said, you know what, I'm going through the situation in my life. I'm in this fish's belly, but I'm going to pray in Jesus' name. And it says in verse 2, he said, and I cried by reason of my affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me out of the belly of hell, cried I, and thou hearest my voice. Isn't that a blessing that no matter what you're going through, you can still pray? <laughs> Man, you got, you, got, you got voice. Jonah made a mistake. But he said, in the midst of what I was going through, I prayed to God. He said, and he said, out of the belly of hell, I cried. <laughs> you think you're going through hell? Joel, Jonah was going through some hell. He said, but I still cried unto the Lord. And then he said there in verse number three, he goes on to talk about this in verse number three. He says, and he says, thou hast cast me into the deep in the midst of the seas and the floods compassed me about. And all thy billows and thy waves passed over me. But verse 4, he said, Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again toward thy holy temple. Look what Job is saying. I, I made a mistake. Man, I'm, I'm in this belly of the fish, but I'm going to pray. <laughs> Amen. He said, I've been cast out of your sight. He said, but yet I'm going to still look toward your holy temple. Meaning, no matter what you're going through, no matter what mistakes you've made, you can still, in the midst of that thing, pray, and God going to still bring you out in Jesus' name. And that's what's going on a lot of people. We, we've all made mistakes in our lives. But sometimes we got, we got to recognize that in the midst of that, God will still hear our prayer, and God will still bring us out, out. Why? Because he is our deliverer in Jesus' name. So let's notice the rest of what Job said. Job was describing the situation. So you think your situation is bad. Look at what Job said here. And let's look in verse number five there, what he says here. He says, and, and, and the waters can pass me about, even to the soul. The depths, he said, the depth closed me round about. And look what he said, and the weeds were wrapped around my head. You think you got some bad problems. Amen. <laughs> Joel said, even the weeds down there in the sea were wrapped around my head. And then he says, on verse 6, I went down to the bottom of the mountain. The earth uh, with her bars was about me forever, yet... Has thou brought up my life from corruption, O Lord my God? Look at Job say, I mean, uh, what uh, Job is saying. He's, I'm going through all that. We wrapped it up my head. <laughs> Amen. Uh, 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 I went down to the very, if you, if you hit bottom before, he's, I hit bottom. Amen. Literal bottom, he's saying here. He said, but yet God brought him up out from corruption. And you see the same thing in your life today, praise God. That, that all this stuff is going on this last two years through coronavirus, all the loss, all the pain, all the discouragement. It's time to come up out of that whale's belly in Jesus' name and receive your full deliverance, your full restoration in Jesus' name, your full rescue. Where God pulls you out of that thing, snatches you out of that thing, and brings you to himself for himself to give him glory in the midst of this. That we decree that you're going to be a light in the midst of darkness because your deliverer has arrived in Jesus' name. Let's read some more of this in verse number seven. What, what he said here, he says here, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord. <laughs> Isn't that good? When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord and my prayer came in unto thee into thy holy temple. Verse uh, eight, thou observest lies and vanities uh, uh, forsake their mercy. But look, look, look what he said. I like what he just said there in verse number seven. He says, when my soul fainted, because sometimes you're going through things, your soul will faint. That means your emotions, mentally, you know, mentally, emotionally. I mean, it, you, you, you kind of like give up in, you know, in, in those areas. He said, but when my soul fainted, he said, I remember the Lord. <laughs> Amen. What do you remember? He's a deliverer. No matter what I'm in, no matter how deep it is, no matter how many weeds are around my head, no matter how, how, far, how far I have fallen, 
Are you a farmer in those areas? He said, I remember the Lord. And that's what God wants to say to you today. Amen. No matter what you're going through in your life spiritually, no matter what you're going through your life physically, no matter what your family is going through right now, remember God that he is your deliverer today. And notice what Job said there. And, and this is what you got to start doing. What you and I got to do, really. Uh, in verse number nine, he says this. He says, but I, <laughs> glory to God, in the midst of this, I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving, and I will pay that I have vowed, for salvation is of the Lord. And what happened when he did that? It said, and the Lord, verse 10, and the Lord spake unto the fish and vomited, vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. What, what turned the situation around? Number one, in the midst of this, he prayed. In the midst of this, he, he, uh, he, 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 he sought God. In the midst of this, he remembered God and what God could do in his life. And then in verse 9, he said, I'm going to sacrifice unto thee the voice of thanksgiving. He said, in the midst of this belly of the whale, I'm going to begin to put a sacrifice of thanks and giving to God. Well, how can you praise God when you're going through? How can you praise God when all you know, your head is filled with weeds and you're at the bottom of the sea? Because you're remembering God, that he is your deliverer out of all your trouble. Are uh, you following? And it's time that for the body of Christ now to remember God. You know, you know, uh, nothing wrong with remembering the CDC. Nothing wrong with remembering, you know, you know, uh, the doctors. All this. Nothing wrong with remembering that. Remember, remember, but it's time to remember God. That Deuteronomy chapter eight verse eighteen says, "The Lord giveth you power to get wealth." He didn't just say in the midst. Of, it depends on what the economy is. He said, "No, I give you power to get wealth." He said, "If you if you'll obey me, even in the midst of this." He said that I'll cause blessing to come on you and overtake you. It's time to remember God. He said, if you'll, do, if you'll dwell in the secret place of the Most High, if you'll abide in the shadow of the Almighty, if you will save the Lord that he of your refuge and your fortress and in him you trust, he said, I will deliver you and no evil shall befall you and no plague will come down your dwelling. So, so Jonah said this, in the midst of the belly of the whale, I'm going to sacrifice with God with my voice of thanksgiving. Begin to, instead of complaining, instead of complaining, instead of murmuring, until to tell everybody what you're going through, it's time to start giving God thanks. Lord, you thank you that I'm saved. Thank you, Lord, that I'm delivered. Thank you, God, that I, that, that I have the peace of God. Thank you, God, that, 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 that my health is restored. Thank you, God, that, you, that all my needs are supplied. He said, I begin to sacrifice with the voice of thanksgiving. He said, and number two, I'm going to pay my vows. That means I'm going to get back into tithing. I'm going to get back and get my giving back in order. Because what happens is, is that, you know, people say, you know, when things are going good, I'm going to be a tither. I'm going to be a giver. I'm going to get my first fruits. But, but Lord, right now, because we're going through, I can't do none of that. It's time, he said, I'm going to pay my vows again. I'm going to get back into Thanksgiving. I'm going to get back and pay my vows. I'm going to get back in tithing again, get back in giving. Uh, you know, because what happens is the devil begins to get you to operate back on his system. Are you following? That's you begin to start trying to, you know, to, to you know, to uh, cut this and cut that and cut that because things are getting worse. No, it takes just as much faith to believe God for more than it takes to have wisdom to decrease and to cut down your expenses. How about believing God for more expenses? I mean, for more money and to be debt free. Are you following? Because you got to remember God in the midst of this, in the well, he began to thank God. And he said, Lord, I'm going to get back. I'm going to pay my vows again. Are you following me? And what happened when he did that? He said that then the Lord spake unto the fish. Glory to God. The deliverer, he's speaking to that fish. Because the fish can't hold you when you get, and you get your vows back in order again. The fish can't hold you when you move back into thanksgiving and praise. And it says that the, the, when he spoke to that fish, the fish vomited Jonah out on dry land. Same thing happened to Paul and Silas. When they was in that prison, they was in the midst of, of, of chaos too. But they began to pray and sing praises unto God. And the Bible said that the earthquake came and set everybody free. And that's the word of God today to, to, the, to the body of Christ in general is that the Lord is still your, 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 your deliverer. No matter what you're going through spiritually, physically, financially, that it's time to move into Thanksgiving. And not just look at well, what's going on now. What's happening now? No, I know what's happening now. 
I'm blessing the city. I'm blessing the field. I'm the head, not the tail. I'm above, not beneath. You know what? I got to get myself back into that state of victory. Not going for the victory, but my state and the victory that I am victorious. I am an overcomer. Are you following? Because that's the area that God is telling you to. And he said, when that happens, the Lord spoke to the fish. And I'm declaring right now <laughs> glory to God, that God is speaking to your fish of poverty, lack, and insufficiency. He's saying that you got to vomit. You got you to, you got you got you got you got I'm stacking you out of that thing. God, he delivered, he, he delivered him. He snatched him out of that thing. He rescued Jonah from that whale. Praise God. Are you following me? And Jonah began to walk in the victory of God and he fulfilled the plan of God for his life. And I'm declaring right now that you as a part of the body of Christ, you as a child of God right now that God has spoken to the body of Christ. God has spoken to the people that are that are moved out of pain into praise, out of worry into worship. Are you following me? Uh, and begin to worship God, begin to praise God in the midst of what they're going through. And I decree that God's speaking to your situation right now and is letting you go. The, the prison let Paul and Silas go. Amen. And, 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 and the fish, the, the whale, let Jonah go. And I'm declaring that sickness, disease, poverty, and lack, as of today, you are free from it. Amen. And because God has snatched you out of it in Jesus name. Well, let's pray that prayer. Father, I just give you thanks in Jesus name that Lord, that, that Lord, just as Jonah did, God, we move out of pain and pressure into praise, out of worry into worship, God. And Lord, the, the, that as your people, Father, we move in the power and the glory of almighty God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we give you thanks. We give you praise and glory for all the things that you're doing in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, let's end with this prayer today. I want, you to, I want to make this declaration today, and I want you to declare this with me. Some of you that got my, got my notes today, many of you that already got my notes, look on your notes right now. There's a, there's a declaration that I have there that we're going to say together, okay? Let's just get us. say, I am delivered from all harm, difficulty, and failing. God would deliver me again on him i have set my hope that he will continue to deliver me i am delivered from the power of darkness i am in the kingdom of god's dear son i am delivered from all troubles i uh, i am delivered from all my fears all my afflictions and persecutions I am delivered from every evil work. Isn't that beautiful? I am delivered from every enemy. I am delivered out of all trouble. I am delivered from every evil work. And I was sacrificed unto God with the voice of thanksgiving. And I will pay that which I vowed because I am delivered in Jesus name. Can you receive that this morning? Praise God. Hallelujah. So I decree that of your life this morning. And uh, we speak victory. We speak deliverance. We speak honor and glory to God in your life in the name of Jesus. So this is the day that the Lord has made. You rejoice and be glad in it. I declare you out of that fish right now. I declare you rejoicing and praising God. And, and worshiping God and in his deliverance in Jesus name. Amen. Well, this has been a great day today. God bless you. God bless all of you, Montoya. God bless you, Virginia. All of you that are on with praise God. It's been a great blessing. Now, I would like for you to uh, you know, pray as you do what we do every day. You that are my partners. Now, I know that many of you are my partners get played different times, but you know, different ones get prayed different times. That's why I do this on a daily basis. And that is I, 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 I present the opportunity for you who are my partners and those that desire to participate in giving and sowing. Because as partners, God told me that my job is to bring you the word, a fresh word every morning. Amen. And, and, and some of you that got my refresher classes on faith, that's my job, to bring that to you, to, to keep you stimulated and fulfill the purpose of God. And then in, in return, as my partners, you know, you sow seed 
into the ministry that God has given me and Dr. Bell. And so uh, right now what you do is right there, you know, right there on, on, uh, you know, on Facebook there, you can look or on YouTube where it says tithe and offerings. You can click that link. You, Zell, Zell, you can go right there. Zell goes right into the ministry immediately. The ministry cash out, uh, the apostle cash out. For my seven, Dr. Bell personally, her uh, cash out. But the whole goal is, as my partners, we thank you because you're making it happen in Jesus' name. Together, we're getting the gospel of Jesus Christ out. Together, we're praying. Together, we're, 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 we're doing Joshua 1 8. Glory to God. And that's, and we're meditating this word day and night. And we're declaring that we're prosperous. We're declaring that we're successful in the name of Jesus Christ. So thank you so much. We're going to be back with you again on tomorrow at the same time. Don't get to share this because it's such an important thing to share this because God got great things in store for you and for those you share with. So until tomorrow at this same time, this has been Apostle Alfred Craig saying, may God's riches and his very best be yours. God bless you today. Amen. How about listening to some words?